Good tonight at 11, attracting artists and warding off COVID. It's a tricky balancing act. While the debate rages on about whether or not to mask up or to get vaccinated, new cases are running rampant. That's a fact. Now the people who run venues that host large groups are making a plan, and it could mean you have to prove one thing or another. It's the perfect summer night to sit on the grass and take in a concert. I can't get no rest Jeremy Albino, the opening act for St. Paul and the Broken Bones. Big smiles, good food, and cold drinks at Rock the Ruins at Holiday Park. It's the place where the owners of the Vogue have brought outside what they do so well inside. You know, the Vogue has historically obviously been an indoor venue uh, located in Broad Ripple, and with COVID, it uh, seemed like a great opportunity to start something outdoors. We throw down a big blanket, put out our chairs, and, you know, we uh, have our own space designated. Tammy Kyleman brought her kids to see the show. They enjoy the live music scene, as so many do. But as the number of COVID cases climbs and fall approaches, now more than ever, art imitates life. I think that is headed to be a standard. More artists and venues are considering requiring fans attending concerts in Indiana to either show proof of vaccination or proof of a negative COVID test. Artists are very concerned about it. Uh, they're reaching out. Uh, different artists have different requirements. You know, some are asking that all patrons be vaccinated or show a proof of a negative test within a certain number of hours before the show. Eric Tobias is one of the owners of the Vogue. <laughs> we do hear from fans. He's in a tough spot balancing the urge to keep the arts alive and offer a sense of normalcy and entertainment options while being mindful and proactive about the health of his patrons. I think by and large, most are supportive, especially knowing that the artist is the one that's requesting it. The requirement of it, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, we're open air here, so it's a little bit different. If we were doing somewhere like Old National Center or uh, you know an enclosed space, I may have a different opinion. But out here with open air, um, you know, I, I don't worry about the choices that are made because I don't plan on getting that close to anybody. As the Vogue looks ahead to its fall calendar and more indoor concerts, it's moving toward what many other concert venues require. Live Nation wants proof of vaccination or negative COVID test results. We check uh, either your vaccination card or, or a negative test and you can have a digital format. The Vogue is working with the Indiana Independent Venue Alliance to streamline the process for staff to check COVID status or vaccination status. The organizations under this umbrella are turning to an app called Bindle. It's an amazing piece of technology where fans can upload the proof of negative test or proof of vaccination and then it takes care of all the privacy uh, not showing that information to venues and uh, that way we don't have to be responsible for that sensitive information. So while there is time now to enjoy live music outdoors, there is work going on behind the scenes to allow the shows to go on when outside isn't an option. I, of course, uh, understand the science and hope that everybody uh, gets vaccinated. And that's super important. The Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra announced today that everyone 12 and older will need to show proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test, and only fully vaccinated patrons will be allowed into performances beginning November 1st. The Hi-Fi and Fountain Square announced vaccine or negative test requirements beginning September 1st.